Good afternoon. It is Monday, May 18th, 2020, and this week is Creature Feature Week, and we're going to start off this week with a drawing of some hippos. I'm going to walk you through this process. We're going to kind of um, zoom in a little bit on a mother and her babies. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to kind of block out where we're going to be working. I'm using a general pencil company, Kimberly 4B, a uh, Milan Sway pencil sharpener and eraser, a butterfly collection pencil sharpener, a high polymer eraser by Pentel, a Prisma color kneaded eraser shaped in the shape of a teardrop, which I learned from Athena. Thank you. Hello, Lucy and Athena. And a Office Depot pink eraser special that I have trimmed down very narrowly. Okay, so we're going to be using this whole space. I'm using Blick 60-pound um, white sulfite paper. It's kind of like what I've been showing kids how to draw on for many, many years. We're going to first block out our proportions by first drawing a large circle right here. And this is going to be part of the head of our first hippo, the mother hippo. And then we're going to draw a second circle kind of right next to it, which is rather large. It's going to overlap. And this is for the jaw of the hippo that we're going to draw. So it's going to be substantially, pretty substantial. So this is, these two things are going to be um, the kind of like the, the main parts of our of our first hippo, which is going to be the mother hippo. And then we're going to draw another circle, a smaller circle here, kind of snuggling and overlapping this first one, and then a smaller one right here. The proportions of a baby hippo are a little bit different than a full-grown mama hippo. And we're going to do one more up here, and we're going to fill this whole space kind of a, uh, almost like, the, like a super close-up. So with two circles here, two circles here, we're gonna have a mother being kind of snuggled by her babies. Hi guys. All right, so once you have these proportions down, we're gonna first start with our mama. Okay, so we're gonna have, I drew, I drew this line here to kind of indicate where I wanna put the eyes. And hippos have these really large kind of brows. Okay, so we're going to indicate a brow, and then we're going to indicate where the nostrils are going to go. Okay, yeah, let's see, right, right there. Yeah. All right. And maybe a little bit higher. Narrow that a little bit. Okay. So we're just using large circles to kind of fill in this space. Hello, Sam. We're doing hippos, Sam. So I'm going to first start with the jaw of of the first, the mama hippo. So I'm cutting in here and creating kind of the jaw of our first hippo, okay? So we've got one lip here kind of coming up, boom, 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 and we're gonna draw the second going down here, okay? So we're gonna also cut in, I'm going to make errors on my lines. And we're going to come in here. We're going to make the nostril, the first nostril. We're not going to necessarily see that second nostril. Okay. All right. And they have the ability to close their nostrils, to physically kind of shut them off from letting water in. All right. All right, now we're gonna kind of draw and connect these two circle areas. We're gonna make the brow. I'm gonna pull this one down here and tighten this up. And draw the eyeball with the eyelids. Just like so. <laughs> mm. 
You guys are crazy. I hope you guys are doing a, having a good shelter in place. So I'm drawing the eye. Just like so. And then the, the mouth is gigantic on a hippo. They are, they have amazingly large mouths. Just ridiculous. Like some teenagers I know. So we're gonna pull all this together. Okay. And then the jawline is actually gonna be way down here. But we're not gonna be able to see that. Okay. Because of our juvenile kind of coming into that space. Okay. And then the ears are quite small, actually. Those are very small, so we're going to kind of tuck the ear back here. Okay. Boom. Hello, Savannah. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a small little guy kind of snuggling in with mom. We're going to give, put his eyebrow right here. Give him some eyelids. Just like so. And he's going to be kind of squeezing his eye because he's very happy because he's snuggling mom's. Okay. We're going to extend this over here. And th again, like I was saying, they have smaller jaws than their mothers. And we're going to pull this over here and then up. So, okay. Yeah, they don't, haven't developed their gigantic teeth. They're able to can actually, you know, snap a crocodile in half. And they have more like a double chin than than their mothers. So we're gonna give them a little bit of chub, a little neck roll. Do 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 and then a little ear. Hello, young Jay. <laughs> How are you, bruh? All right. And then, oh, Nicole. And there we go. And that seems like a really happy baby hippo. And then, last but not least, we're going to put another guy just above here. And his eyeliner right here. Give him his brow. So two brows, just like that. Pull this down. Okay. And we're using the same shape. into that ear a little bit, or the brow of the mom's, kind of jumping over mom here. Give him the nostril. Maybe he's sticking out his tongue. Yeah, I like that. You just finished your freshman year, bro. Congratulations. How's it feel? That's a good question, Athena. I guess maybe Thursday I'll do some watercolor. Just for you. How about that? Yeah, I'll do watercolor.
happy family. Yeah, that works. All right, so we'll get rid of some of these searching lines. And we can start shading. Clean some of this stuff up. these noses a little bit. Yeah, I'm not liking this one right here. No, 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 no. Not really. There we go. That's a little bit better. That's better. There we go. Okay. All right. That's much better. How about cutting off that? Yeah, that's a much better angle. Oh, I was having issues with that. Didn't look right. Face didn't look full enough. There we go. Okay. Oh, Lord. I wonder who seat pillow actually is. I wonder if that's one of my students. I don't really know. Hello, seat pillow. You are an enigma wrapped in a mystery. Okay, so we know that A, our light source is going to be coming from the right-hand side. So we're going to create a cast light up here for our hippo's eyes. And hippos have eyelashes. They have cool eyelashes. So we'll make sure to include those. This is like a quasi-realistic family of hippos. Not entirely, totally realistic. That I'm trying to create here. Okay. Now, let's start some shading, shall we? I'm gonna use this piece of paper. So I don't smudge as much. And I'm going to use cross hatching as I'm going through this to create form and volume through cross hatching to create values. 
and using lines to shape form, etc. Okay. And the spacing also between my lines that I create are going to help create the illusion of three-dimensional form. Okay. And you can do these techniques, you know, with any kind of pencil. I'm choosing to use a drawing pencil specifically. Because many of the students I'm trying to reach with these live draws have these pencils with them, or should. And if you don't, that's okay. You can use any pencil, honestly. And pencils you can buy anywhere. You can buy them at your local grocery store. And they're open because they are essential businesses. And California is slowly opening up, too, as well. If you get a chance, though, there are some art stores in the area I recommend going to, one of them being Imagine Art Supplies in PG. It's my favorite art store. And if she doesn't carry it, she will order it for you. Hey, Marco. No. What the hell? Okay. Fine. I'm 60. So Marco just said happy 60th birthday. Thanks, man. It's really sweet of you. Thank you for remembering. All right. So if you're just joining us, we are doing Mama and Baby Hippo. Hippos, plural. Just slowly building out values and shading. And I'm going to be adding details once I get kind of a, a good base going. I guess I'm going for cute factor today. That's what it kind of feels like. Hello, sweet. One, three, one. Hmm. How you doing? On this blessedly beautiful Monday. just told, and when I say we, I mean my fellow teachers at Carmel High School, we are just told we are having a graduation taking place at Laguna Seca. Hello, Naomi. How you doing? It's 
should be very interesting. Graduation taking place at a racetrack. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Yes, I believe we are invited to attend and uh, watch you guys graduate, quote unquote. It's going to be very interesting. I don't know how we're going to be staged, but we'll see. Naomi, I am the furthest thing from a shot caller. You know this. This is something I tell kids all the time. I am not a shot caller. I am a follower. I am not a shot caller. That would be nice. It would be really cool if we as teachers are allowed to drive on Laguna Seca. We'll see. I'm not holding my breath. Marco, maybe you can pull some strings for me, man. You, you kind of know a shot caller. Tell him if he lets me do it, I'll let you drive with me. All right. But once again, I am not a shot caller. Let's just make this abundantly clear. I think altogether I have, well, let's just say I probably have a dozen bosses at Carmel High School. And when it comes to my VAPA department, I am one of the newest members and furthest from seniority, let me tell you. And I don't mind that. I don't mind. Let me tell you. Well, we're cruising along here. I'm darkening values. I'm going to be darkening lines, too, as well. <laughs> Bro, what? Athena, one of my graduates, is questioning me. Athena, I have not seen any more posts of your photography. I'm waiting with, waiting with bated breath. Okay, so you haven't started your concentration and this is due next Tuesday, Naomi. Get to it, child. Oh, you don't have a scanner. Yeah, you can buy those pretty cheap now. Less than a hundred dollars. Right? Right? Give her. Mm, it's not that hard, but coming up with those ideas. I kind of get it, but I don't. Anywhere. Office Depot. So one of my graduates is asking me, what do you buy a scanner? Well, Office Depot, you can buy them online now. You can search reviews. You want one with a pretty decent sized scanner bed. And also with the capability of scanning negatives. Okay. The best and most reliable brands are Epson, 
Hewlett Packard and Canon. It, it is a problem when you live way out in Big Sur, cut off from, you know, the real world. But yeah, you can go to order them online, they can deliver them. Hello, Sophia. Hello, Palmer. So we're just going through and shading everything. Mm hmm. No, I get it. Yeah, you want to go with the brand that you are familiar with and you know is going to give you the quality of scans you want. But, you know, you can always find deals. Right now, most most companies are giving really good deals on, on things right now because of, you know, we're in a recession. They're not giving them away, but you can find some. There are deals out there. Just gotta look. And also, you know, before you even, when you find what you want, before you even click on order, check out when said package, said, said equipment would arrive. Because it could be until, it could be, you know, in July. Depending on the company and where they're getting the, the product. So be careful going forward. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm adding shading close to my heavier lines. I go one direction and I'll switch go the other direction and I want to leave a little bit of like a lighter value near the edges and I'm constantly rotating my pencil some emails and text conversations with kids and I know it's hard guys you know to stay motivated I know it's hard even for me to stay motivated I get you it's these are weird times it's tough times and I get it y'all are stir crazy hell I'm stir crazy You know, he's kind of just this, understand this is this is all temporary. It's not going to be forever. This isn't life as you know it for the rest of your life. It is just temporary. Be patient. This will all be over sooner than we think, and it'll be a distant memory. Oh, 
hopefully uh, we as a society can learn from this. Hopefully. We'll see. Someone just tried to call me. They just don't know. I'm busy. Okay. We're cruising. I'm putting in some details now. tone going. Now we're going to do some dots here for a close-up of the kind of the, the muzzle of our hippo. I'm just going to do these quickly. Gonna go up. Filming these in like black stars here, I swear. Hey, Jared. Okay. Same thing for our little guys. Just not as much. They're younger. And then we're also going to do these kind of like bumps. some highlights out and then work with those.
So right now I'm just kind of going through Dark Moon Valleys. Creating that illusion just through shading of dimensionality. I'm using multiple pencils here now. shading around that tongue rather than just creating a heavy outline. Yeah, that's better. And by having a bunch of middle values, I can create like all kinds of dimensionality that I wouldn't be able to do if I just had just white of the paper. And having that high contrast of dark darks and light lights helps as well. So we're going to just fill in these values down here, creating some cast shadow, cast shadows here of our hippos and here's the thing guys, always change your paper because I have some impressions from the last drawing that I did that are creating some some value issues for me right now. I have some impressions from Hella from Friday's draw in my hippos right now. So I made kimchi yesterday, and by God, there is a reason why my people have a second refrigerator in the garage. Holy smokes. All I smell is garlic and ginger right now. I don't use onions. I hate onions. So I use a lot of garlic and ginger instead. Although garlic is in the same family as onions, garlic is so much better. Okay, folks. Yes, I love kimchi too. It's the best. It's the absolute best. But I hate onions. I don't buy kimchi that has onions in it. Get that out of here. Hello, oh, Sophia. All right, so if you missed the draw and want to do this draw with me, you can always click the link in my bio to get to my YouTube channel and watch the videos at your own pace. And we're gonna call this one done. Thank you very much for joining me on Monday, uh, May the 18th. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing 
Again, another creature feature. Uh, I think we're going to be doing owls tomorrow. So hopefully you guys will turn, tune in tomorrow. Again, if you miss the lives, you can always click on the link in my bio and get to my YouTube channel. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.